Hi guys, today I'm here with my classics I want to read in 2018 video. It's pretty much the best video I film every year. I love making it so much and being able to watch it back every single year to find out what I have read and what I haven't read yet. And this year I feel like my selection is super good. This definitely isn't a definitive list of all the classics I want to read, just some of the ones I'm hoping to read. I can read other classics, I can add to this list or take these out. So you'll just have to watch my wrap ups throughout the year to find out which ones that I do read. So let's dive right into it and the classic that I'm most excited to read this year is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier and I'm really excited to read Rebecca because originally I thought the premise of Rebecca was Jane Eyre then I read Jane Eyre and realised that it wasn't but it has a really famous first line which is last night I dreamt I went to Mandalay again it seemed to me I stood by the iron gate leading to the drive and for a while I could not enter for the way was barred to me. I can't wait to find out what it's about. I feel like it is is about a woman who is never named and she is a second wife and it's all about the first wife and some creepy gothic things that happen. I don't know anything about these books obviously because I've never read them so my synopsis will be very vague and may not be right so we'll see once I've read them how on the ball I was with what they're about but I'm very excited to read Rebecca and if I enjoy this I'll hopefully read lots more Daphne du Maurier. 2018 is also the year that I want to read some Charles Dickens. Don't know if it's gonna happen but I'm really hoping so and the ones I would like to try and read are Great Expectations and Hard Times. I don't know why I chose these two but I've always wanted to read Great Expectations and Hard Times is also a shorter one so between the two I feel like I've got a good mix. Great Expectations is about a boy called Pip who inherits money and he is originally very poor and then his life changes and it's also about a mysterious woman called Miss Havisham and I've watched an adaptation, I watched the BBC mini series of this and really loved it and so I'm looking forward to reading the book and then I want to read Hard Times. I just want to read it. I want to try and read all of Charles Dickens. There's not a definitive reason I want to read it. I just feel like it's going to be a really good book. I also want to try and read some more of my vintage classics this year. These are the ones with the gorgeous red spines. And the first one is My Own Story by Emmeline Pankhurst. Obviously, it is 100 years since women got the vote, or some women got the vote anyway. And so there are lots of celebrations going on this year. And I want to try and read lots of feminist literature whether that be non-fiction or classics and I can't think of a better book to read than a book in Emmeline Pankhurst's own words. Then we have The Door by Magda Zabo who was a Hungarian author. I want to try and read more classics that aren't British because I love my British Victorian classics but obviously I can't stick to them all of the time. I've got to try and vary my tastes a little bit and I think this is going to be a great place to start. And then another author that I really want to read this year is Vita Sack the West. I don't mind what I read but I think I'm going to start with All Passion Spent which is about a woman who is widowed and everyone expects her to kind of fade into the background but she proves everyone wrong and has a pretty mad lifestyle and I think it sounds great. And then the final one I want to read is Ruby Fruit Jungle by Rita May Brown. I want to try and read more LGBT classics as well and find out more about how that started to come into literature and how that's written about and I think this is going to be a lovely place to start. I also I want to try and read lots and lots more poetry in 2018 because I read a lot I think in 2016 or I read a lot more and then last year it kind of got pushed to the side a little bit so I'd love to read more Sylvia Plath. I read Ariel and now I want to read The Colossus. I love her poetry but I find it quite hard to get into so I need to read a few times before I really start to understand it but I want to find out more about it and I love Sylvia Plath. I love The Bell Jar. I really enjoyed Ariel and I find her poetry she is very interesting not really I don't know if it's my style because I tend to like kind of more romantic poetry and this is definitely modern poetry but still very good and I like to try and read lots of different things. Now a poetry collection that I'm not super excited to read but really want to at the same time is this one by Thomas Hardy. This is the selected shorter poems as chosen and introduced by John Wayne. Not that John Wayne, a different one. I got this from my grandma. You can go and watch my book haul that I did last year and I'm trying to read some of those books that I got. But I don't love Thomas Hardy's poetry. I've read a few of his poems now and I like some of them. 
Others I just think are rubbish. I'm sorry Thomas Hardy, you're my favourite author but I don't appreciate you as a poet as much as I probably should. I find that some of it is quite boring and quite poorly written actually, seeing as though he wanted to originally be a poet and then wrote his books as kind of to get his career going I suppose and then he went back to poetry again once his books got too controversial and I just don't like it so I want to read more of it and find out if there's other ones that I do like but I'm not anticipating that I'll love it that much but I still want to read it. So because I'm not sure if I'll love his poetry I do want to read lots more of Thomas Hardy's novels this year. I'm already reading The Woodlanders which I'm currently reading so I'm not featuring it in this video. I'm currently loving it so I'm really pleased about that but I would also love to read Jude the Obscure and The Mayor of Casterbridge. These are the two of the more tragic novels of his and I don't know a lot about them. I did start reading The Mayor of Casterbridge last year but I didn't finish it so I'd like to finish it this year and I don't really know a lot about Jude the Obscure but I love his books so I think I'm really going to enjoy both of these. Last year I read North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell and the year before I read Cranford so I've got to read Elizabeth Gaskell again this year and I would love to read Wives and Daughters. I'm excited to read this but it actually it's an unfinished book. She died before she could finish it and there's a note right in the back and when it was being published that I read the other day it says here the story is broken off and it can never be finished what promised to be the crowning work of a life is a memorial to death which I think is pretty tragic but I'm also interested to see adaptations of it which finished it and to find out about theories of how it would have ended but I've heard that it's quite obvious to see how it would have ended because she got very very far to the end. This is about a girl called Molly whose father he marries and then brings a new stepsister into her life and it follows both of the girls as they grow up. I think it's going to be the more quintessential Elizabeth Gaskell rather than maybe as political as North and South but that's just a theory I'm not too sure yet but I feel like I'm going to enjoy this one as well. Then I would love to read some George Orwell and I did start to read 1984 in 2017 but never finished it. I think I got to chapter two. Yes I got to chapter two so not very far in but I think this is being made into a Penguin English Library edition this year so of course I'm going to have to own that. Um, who would I be otherwise? I do want to finish this. I'm interested in more of the political side of it. And I've got a few novel ideas. I want to incorporate some kind of modern political take on things. So I kind of want to read some more books that will tie into that. But I think it's gonna be good. I'm not too sure. It's not my kind of book, I must admit, but that doesn't mean I won't enjoy it. But I also don't think it's the kind of book you enjoy. Like I enjoy Thomas Hardy. I enjoy the Brontes because even though bad things happen, they're, they're quite, not uplifting but they're quite forceful books but I feel like George Orwell is all about how you feel about them and how you think about the books and how they make you think and I'm not used to that kind of book so it will be interesting to hear my full thoughts. I will read it. I will I promise. And then the three Penguin English Library books I want to read are The Warden first by Anthony Trollope. I watched an adaptation of Dr Thorne and this is the first book in the Chronicles of Barsetshire series and Dr Thorne is the second so I want to try and read all of them if I can. I've heard that this one isn't the best of them but I think they get better as they go along so I'm looking forward to starting them and it's also not too long. I think they get longer as they go on as well so hopefully I will start some Anthony Trollope. Then for a book I should have finished a long time ago but there is a good reason why I didn't. It is Middlemarch by George Eliot. It's like 900 pages and I'm very very put off by the size. I'm sorry I'm just very daunted by it but 2018 is gonna be the year I've finished Middlemarch. I promise now I'm making a pledge I'm gonna finish this book this year. We'll see if that happens at the end of the year but I'd really love to finish it this year. I think I got about 38 pages in which shows my willpower obviously didn't get that far into it but I did enjoy the bits that I did read and I just feel like it's one of the books I've got to tick off my bucket list my book it list so I've got to read it this year and then the final classic I'm hoping to read in 2018 is The Portrait of a Lady by Henry James I like this kind of book it's more about the society that's kind of what I'm comfortable with about a young lady growing up in society and being involved with a lot of people around her those are the books that I like the most and so I'm looking forward to reading reading this. It's described as an intensely moving masterpiece on the destructive power of love and features Henry James's most magnificent literary heroine. The things I really love reading about in books, destructive love and literary heroines. 
I can't wait. So I'd love to hear in the comments what classics you are hoping to read in 2018. Are there anything I should add to my list that I haven't mentioned because I'm very open to hearing your thoughts on what I should read. I might read some Oscar Wilde again this year as well. There are many books I'm hoping to read that aren't on this list but these are the ones that I own that I am most excited to read at the moment. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys soon. Happy reading!